Let me tell you a story. I was recently talking to a director of strategy. She was a director of strategy at a very large multinational, uh, multi-euro, multi-million dollar euro um, healthcare company in the UK. They were tech based, growing really quickly, extraordinarily quickly. And she was telling me they didn't need a strategy. In fact, they didn't have a strategy. They didn't need a strategy. And of course, this was setting alarm bells off in my head. And I started to ask her a couple of questions, really. And I want to talk through with you why they didn't have a strategy. What was stopping them from doing that? And I'm going to use a glass jar to tell you two reasons why they didn't have a strategy and also the reasons why they didn't think they needed a strategy. Let's take the first one then. So the first reason is you can take this glass jar and you can fill it full of this. This glass jar, glass jar represents your resources, your, your time, your ability as a senior management team, as a C-suite to do work. OK, and in this, you've got three elements of your work. You've got things like sand. Sand is the day to day. It's like doing your emails, um, meetings, check ins, calls, all of that day to day stuff that just takes up a lot of your time. Then you've got things like the pebbles. The pebbles are things that are improvements, like meetings with new partners, just the general incremental improvements, working with your, your strategic management team to push initiatives forward. All of that kind of level of stuff is happening at a pebble level. That's that continuous improvement. And then you have things like rocks. And rocks are the really important stuff that you know you should be doing. Not typically urgent, but very, very important. These are things like creating a strategy for the next two years. Okay. That's a huge, important rock. Now, if you fill this glass jar full of sand, there's no space for you to put your rocks in here. If, even if the glass jar is two thirds of the way full, there's no space for you to put rocks in there. OK, if you put glass, there's at least no space for pebbles. So that's what you end up doing is you end up having a glass jar full of, you're so busy, your glass jar is full of sand. You can got space for pebbles. You haven't got space for the rocks, things like creating a strategy. And sure enough, when I explored it with this director of strategy, that was a thing that was holding the senior management team back. They couldn't carve out time to create a strategy. So you need to look at this jar and you need to, to think about it in a very, very different way. The most important things you need to put in this jar first are your rocks. OK, things like creating your strategy. Then you fill up the space around that with the sand, like the emails, that kind of stuff. And you, the pebbles, they fit around if your glass jar is mostly full of sand and pebbles, you haven't got space for the rocks. If the rocks goes in, go in first, you'd be surprised about how much of that other stuff you can squeeze in around it as well. So carving out time was problem number one and reason one why they didn't have a strategy. And then the second thing was they did said they didn't need a strategy, which is really interesting. I mean, they're growing extremely quickly, year on year growth. They talked about it as kind of uh, sailing, a, a surfing a wave. Realistically, it was more like skiing in front of an avalanche. It was quite a scary experience for all of them. And they kept saying, we don't we just don't need a strategy. We're growing without that. And it's like, well, let's look at this and let's use this glass jar as a different um, a different example of why that's not the case. So them in this glass jar, that's their world. That's their universe. And inside this universe, they didn't need a strategy. The rules of their universe were different from the rules of the universe outside of that glass jar. Inside that glass jar, they were telling themselves that we didn't we don't need a strategy. We're growing no matter what. OK, there were other rules that they had in there as well, like, you know, we don't need a chief product officer. OK, we don't need a chief product officer. Our product's growing no matter what. Again, rules that are true inside their universe, inside that glass jar, but not necessarily true with the universe as a whole. And so, again, in asking some really simple questions to unlock that, you know, simply, do other large organisations have a strategy? Well, of course they have a strategy. Of course they do. Everybody else has a strategy, but we're different. We don't need that. And again, by opening that glass jar, of course, you're not different. If you need to look at it from a different perspective, not having a strategy is, of course, quite a dangerous thing for a large organization of that size. Because, again, people, the symptoms of that were people were development teams were struggling because they didn't know what they should be prioritizing. There was a whole world of pain happening because this hadn't happened yet. Growth was happening, which is the ultimate goal. Yet it wasn't happening in a controlled, strategic way. They were hemorrhaging staff. People were struggling to know what they should be doing, what they should be working on. There was a real lack of focus. The avalanche was creeping up behind them. And as soon as that avalanche hits, everybody burns out. It's the end. OK, it's a dangerous thing. So by opening up that glass jar and just asking some simple questions, would well, you think this is true for everybody? The universe expands and suddenly they realize that well, actually we, we do need to do this. OK, and telling that story alongside the rocks, the pebbles and the sand unlock the time for them to be able to do this. If that sounds like you, if you're struggling to realise and think about why you need that and you want somebody to ask you those questions to help expand your universe, let me know. If you're struggling to find, carve out space with your senior man, with your senior C-suite team to work on the rocks, get in touch. I can help you do that. 
All right, thank you very much for your time, everybody, and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.